despite the best efforts of Warner Brothers combined with some in the mainstream media to do so, there is no possible way to spin these numbers when it comes to the Flash opening weekend other than the reality, which is it's a disaster for DC, a disaster for Warner Brothers Discovery, and worse than anyone possibly thought. The Flash is now looking at not only opening to less than Black Adam, but might not even reach a $60 million opening weekend domestically. The Flash loses speed with $60 million three-day opening. Here's why. And this entire article is a big cope and all these excuses trying to be made. Well, they didn't use the they didn't use some of these characters to promote the movie like Ezra Miller. He wasn't available for the press tours. Oh, and you know, late night talk shows aren't on right now, so they weren't able to promote it that way. Bullshit. The reality is staring everyone right in the face. When you look at the history of what DC has done in the past couple years, when you look at the announced reboot, there is no energy. There is no enthusiasm. There is nothing for DC. This brand is dead. And maybe if they had actually delivered some masterpiece of a movie, like so many random celebrities and people in the media said that this movie was going to be... Maybe that could have drawn people out, but no one believed those people. No one believed these random celebrities that are tweeting that The Flash is the best comic book movie I've ever seen. You need to go watch it. No one bought it because that's not what DC has delivered, and that's not what they delivered with this movie either. The reality is, like MovieWeb says, The Flash opens with disastrous box office below Black Adam. And it might be significantly below Black Adam by the time the official numbers come out. We're still waiting on those. But right now, this is what the estimates are. The Flash had a disastrous $24.5 million Friday opening day, including the 9.7 Thursday previews under Black Adam's 26.7. Just a less than $15 million pure Friday in summer. With a mixed reception from U.S. audiences, not much hope left. Eyeing a 55 to $59 million three-day weekend in the United States. Again, we're still waiting for those official Saturday and Sunday numbers to come through. But right now, this is what we're looking at. This is the reality. Not even close to Black Adam, which was a disaster, which did lose over $100 million for DC. That's a movie that failed to even get to $400 million at the global box office. And right now both domestically and internationally, The Flash looks to be performing worse than Black Adam. This is a movie they hyped up with nostalgia bait, with cameos, the return of Michael Keaton as Batman. This is a movie that should have been very front-loaded. But no, the opposite has happened. No one was excited. No one was enthusiastic. No one was looking forward to this. No one believed all the lies that were coming out of Warner Brothers and out of DC. Now, of course, James Gunn came out and said, this is the best superhero movie I've ever seen. Yeah, I guess he's the head of DC now, so you wouldn't expect him to say this movie sucks. But at the same time, to go so outlandishly overboard, it shows you what DC had writing on this. The fact that they called in about every favor or paid off anybody they could in a desperate attempt to get good word of mouth surrounding this movie, and no one believed them. And now they are sitting here looking at another box office disaster. This is coming up. Look at the last two years, really, of DC releases. When you look at Wonder Woman 1984 and The Suicide Squad, at least you have excuses for those because so many theaters were shut down during COVID. They put it out on the same day they did HBO Max, all of that shit. So at least you can justifiably say why those movies underperformed. But then when you look at Black Adam, when you look at Shazam 2, and now when you look at The Flash... The Batman's the only thing that's made money for them in the past two years. This is a nightmare scenario for Warner Brothers. A $60 million or less opening compared to the $67 million that Black Adam had. Like, this just this tells you everything you need to know. Flash is performing worse than Black Adam. Will it track the same way? Probably, because quite honestly, the word of mouth has not been good on this movie either. I'm one of the people that fall into, I didn't think it was the worst movie of all time. It's not the worst movie DC or Marvel have put out, certainly. Um, but th there's nothing really to write home about. I don't think there's anything special about it. I think it's a very mid movie. I think most people are falling even lower than that on this. Overall, as much as the mainstream media tried to cover for this and promote this, as much as Warner Brothers was hoping that that would help, it didn't. And now they're sitting there with another dumpster fire on their hands. Let me know your thoughts about all this in the comments section below. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.